I want to do a quick video rundown of my mobile processing unit which is for sale. This is the uh, back door here, right? All right? You got the full width trailer here. So basically, during processing, you back the truck up or the trailer up there with the chicken crates in it. This is this generator's in the front, power in the unit. If you don't have a building to hook it up to, you, you unload into here all your birds. You know, you kill eight, and we also have turkey cones and small turkey cones, big, big and small turkey cones. Um, obviously, this is the dunk unit here into the Featherman tank. Uh, you got hot water provided by this this instant heat unit here. Do a quick come around, dump them into the turkey plucker. This can handle eight broilers. Uh, I'm not sure how many turkeys, but plenty. You can look on Featherman's website for that. We got lights here, ventilation, which is really nice when it's getting steamy. Um, and now that is gas heat, um, which is really nice because you don't have any crazy electric bill. You have a hand washing sink here for when you're going to go help the girls uh, or whoever. Eviscerate. You got the pass through window here, so you take the chickens, chuck them through into one of these two sink tubs. This sink is hooked up to cold water, and then you have the evisceration station here. You got three spots one on this side, two, and uh, three. So you got three evisceration stations also up here. That's to fill the chill pink water tank. You can see that, which is really nice. You got a light up here and up here. Now you got this sink here, which is actually not hooked up. I would have hooked it up, but I never needed it. Um, so we actually have a hookup up there, which is going to run across here, over and down. Same with the. Uh, with the hot water there if you ever wanted to run hot water uh, and then if you ever wanted to run hot water to this sink which is currently hooked up with the hose uh, which is fine for, for now just that's just the hand washing sink so you got really nice air conditioning unit that will definitely cool you down in the winter I mean in the summer it actually has heat for the winter too which is nice for fall processing you got this chicken rack here which uses these uh, unfortunately some of them were spoiled, uh, so you can get those at Restaurant Depot or Web Restaurant. It's a big old chill tank, as well as this freezer, which is what I was using to save ice. An ice cream freezer, which is really nice because it gets much colder than a regular freezer on cold. Um, yes, yeah, so you have the three compartments with the appliance if you end up needing, needing to have that. You have the chicken processing saw right here, and uh, that scale actually. Uh, will tell you the weight, but it won't print. Uh, here's a freebie. Um, yes, this table is really nice up, up here, actually, just to keep keep your your memos, your things for packaging. Um, I would sharpen the knives there. Which I got very good at. Um, so then the clean product come out here, and uh, if you got a nice setup, keep your freezers out here. I had my ice freezer right here. Well, the, it was in a different spot. But I had my ice freezer. I had my ice freezer right there, so you can get the ice, and I had my other freezer right there, so you can throw the birds in the freezer or the fridge. You got two axles. Uh, so it's a call, it's a car hauler, it's real big. Got the aluminum flooring, you got the um, the generator, which is more than enough to power everything in here. Comes with a cable to hook it up, and this I added a really nice spray down unit before this you get wet you don't get wet with this really and it's hooked right up to the hot and it can be detached that's why it's just jumbled on the side we always detach it unless we're cleaning um, you know keep it in storage so you got the quick disconnect on off for that um, let me show you the front of the trailer okay you got this, it goes into your breaker panel, 
right on the other side of that is your breaker panel. You've got the three prong, and then this is really nice. You run an extension cord from your barn or whatever. Keep that freezer going when you're not running the generator. So you just got an extension cord lead in there. You got the uh, six or seven point trailer hookup, emergency breakaway cable box right there, compliant in some states. You got the uh, 240 pounders, which is awesome. So you don't have to, that'll get you through a real, real long day of uh, processing each side wheel. You can plenty to start up, plenty to run. That uh, instant heat doesn't take too much extra spare tire. What else? You got a couple of windows, which is nice while you're processing. Um, not much else I can think of. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're going on five and a half minutes here. Um, let's just, just do kind of a walk around. And this has the spout down there. Uh, it's a little dirty in there, just because it sat out for a little bit. But uh, you know what it looked like that when I got it? I got it clean, so just a little, a little bleach water on the bottom here. This is a real good trailer. It pulls really nice. I have a 1500 at it, and I brought it home, brought it from, to, to New York from Wisconsin, no problem. Then it sat on my form, farm, really unmoved except for once around the farm. No problem. You got the big ass doors here, and then uh, it's American hauler. What do I got going on here? Oh, that's for the. Uh, hot water heat um, and that just plugs in here the other nice thing is if you don't want to run the generator you can run an extension cord to this to run your hot water so uh, and then the, it's got a 220 plucker which is real nice because it's strong you don't want a 120 plucker you won't get the power you need you got the fluorescent lights which is real nice too um, I mean overall I mean it's a great great that's just uh, from the grass that, that'll wash off Got a great unit here. Uh, and for the price I'm selling it, you're gonna want to jump. Okay, got the exhaust there. I actually went through New York City tolls. That guy, the guy I bought it from, must have hit that on a barn. But uh, I went through New York City tolls, three bridges, no problem. Out here on Long Island, way out on Long Island. So, uh, you know, serious buyers. We'll take a look at all the pictures too that will be posted of this. And there's no rust on this frame. I mean, you can't even tell the thing was used. I mean, it's like it never went down the road. And then you got this really nice gas line from the front to the back, um, professionally installed. By a plumber, you got the kick plate here. I mean, it's a trail, you know what it's got. The lift over there. Yeah. That's her, 24 foot.